April 10th, 2020. This video is called Chernobyl Forest Fires Spike Radiation Levels. Now all you have to do is go into the Google search and type in Chernobyl. And you're going to get uh, that the Chernobyl forest fires are seen from space. And also that the the exclusion zone is on fire and the radiation levels are spiking as of a day ago. Now this is the NASA website. You could actually see the plumes. Now let's remember, I'm going to show you Kiev, where they're saying that it's safe to go outside. If you look at the headlines, are the forest fires around Chernobyl have pushed the radiation to 16 times normal levels. Now remember, Chernobyl happened 30 years ago, and to some people they've never even heard of it because it seems like it's a long time ago. But 30 years, Chernobyl is basically an infant in its life cycle after the nuclear disaster. Now, actually, you can actually, they're doing tours over there, believe it or not. But it says that the problem is that the fires are releasing the radiation that has been previously locked away in the soil, the leaves, and the wood of the forest around the exclusion zone. Now, the fire is started near this village, April 4th, which is a week ago, and they're actually still burning. They're a little sporadic, but it says that it has covered over 250 acres have burned. It looks like the worst part is the fire was started deliberately. Now, I don't get what that's all about. Here are some pictures of the literal forest fire, and that looks like it's burning pretty hot. So, And here's the plumes. Radiation levels are microsieverts per hour, and it's reading 2.3. Up from their normal expected levels over there, it's 0.14. But they say that the maximum safe levels for humans is 0.5. So it is like way, way up. 16 times they're saying. It says that the Ukrainian authorities were keen to stress that the surrounding neighborhoods further away from the fire were safe. It says it's safe to go outside and open windows in the city of Kiev, 100 kilometers or 62 miles away. Uh, in Kiev, I'm going to show you the Kiev and there's no way that it seems to be that it's uh all right for you to open your windows actually they should be bunkering down inside and closing their windows and until these wildfires are put out now here is there's the lake that was used to cool the reactors now if you look at the coordinates the longitudinal and latitude it's 51.38 by 30.1. 51.33 by 30.09. That's this area right here. This is where Chernobyl is located. And on this earth.nullschool.net, it's easier to see the plumes if you put it on the carbon monoxide levels. And you could see the purple is the plume right there. This is actually now, as of the 10th of April. And they're burning, like right now. You could see the plume here. And you could see the wind is blowing to the south. I'll show you where Kiev is, like right over here. So Kiev is in the middle of this plume. And for them to say that there's nothing wrong, that you could open your windows, is just mind-boggling, actually. Now this is SafeCast. They go out and do measurements of radiation. Now this is where... It's covered, Chernobyl. They did radiation readings all around it. And you could see the, the little graph over here on the levels. And it looks like you start getting really high when you get into the oranges and the yellows. And orange and yellow is just like all around the place. Look, at it, it's way up in here. But if you look... This is where the forest fires are at. And if you see even down in here, 
it looks like this is where they removed the forest to prevent the fires. So these areas in here are probably what's is uh, on fire right now. Now here's where the Chernobyl power plant is. And the other day this plume of clouds was like coming right out in here. So I have a feeling part of the ashes is going up into the clouds right in here and you'll see you you could see this 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 column right here of the clouds is this part right in here see how it's all kind of getting collected up and going up in here so this plume the particles are actually going into that cloud. Now this is an interesting map. This will show you global forest fires. And here's Chernobyl, Chernobyl right here. This is the lake. And this is the fires from the 2nd to the 7th is this whole area. Now, when I went yesterday, it was just this area in here. This is all new fires in here. And you can see the fires aren't where it looks like the trees were taken out. It's around these areas in here. So there's actually a lot of fires that are like literally creeping right up into the buildings in the area where it's the most radioactive. So actually, they should be up there putting these fires out. Now this is Kiev right here. And Chernobyl is literally right up in here. There's Chernobyl right there. There's that lake. And this is Kiev where they were talking about and saying that it was safe to open your windows up. Now the coordinates of Kiev is 50.4 by 30.6. 50 by 30. This area marked here is 50 by 30. This is Kiev right here. This is where Kiev is. Here's where the fires are at. So it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that the particulate matter from that fire is blowing directly into the city of Kiev. And what's happening is all this radiation is going to get redistributed. And you know where it's going to end up, where its final place is? It's going to go into us. We're the top of the food chain. If you really look and see what's going on over there, that's a creepy picture. So it just goes to show you, it proves that nuclear power sucks and we got to get away from it because we can't control it and when it gets out of control, the consequences are just mind boggling. On the 26th of April 1986, it was decided at Chernobyl to take advantage of reactor number four's downtime by carrying out a safety test on an emergency core cooling feature. At 1.24 in the morning, an engineer recorded in his diary that the protective system wasn't working. At the same moment, a huge and catastrophic surge in power caused two explosions. As fires raged, the core of reactor number four was destroyed. A huge cloud rose into the sky, spreading large amounts of radioactive fuel and materials into the atmosphere. 
Sweden was the first foreign country to find out about the accident when it detected unusual levels of radioactivity coming from the east two days later. Ukrainian authorities tried to hide the disaster, which had by that time claimed only two lives when one employee was killed instantly and another died in hospital several hours later. Firefighters who rushed in to put out the blaze weren't properly equipped and suffered radiation poisoning. Attempts were made to cool the reactor by dropping 4,000 tonnes of lead and sandbags onto the site. Forty-eight thousand people living in Pripyat were also victims of the ineptitude and secrecy of the authorities. The town was only three kilometres away from Chernobyl. Evacuation from Pripyat began a full day and a half after the explosion. Investigations into the accident at Chernobyl revealed both procedural and design errors at the nuclear facility.